Today we're going to talk about one of the most interesting and groundbreaking theories in science, general relativity. To understand general relativity, we first need to talk about the fabric of the universe, which we call spacetime. Imagine the universe as a four-dimensional continuum, with three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Spacetime is not a static arena, but it can be stretched and curved by the presence of massive objects like planets and stars. So, how does this curvature work? Well, imagine placing a large object on a trampoline. The trampoline represents spacetime, and the object represents a massive object like a planet. The weight of the object will cause the trampoline to curve, creating a well in the fabric of spacetime. Other objects will naturally roll towards this well, creating the effect we call gravity. This is the basic concept behind general relativity. Massive objects, like planets and stars, cause spacetime to curve, creating the force we know as gravity. But general relativity goes even further, predicting that the path of light can also be affected by this curvature. This means that massive objects can bend the path of light, creating an effect called gravitational lensing, which has been observed by astronomers many times. Now, let's talk about one of the most famous predictions of general relativity, black holes. Black holes are objects with a gravitational pull so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from them. The theory of general relativity predicts that black holes form when a massive object collapses under its own gravity, forming a singularity, a point of infinite density at the center. But what really amazes us is that the complexity of the mathematics behind general relativity allows for the existence of solutions that describe some very exotic phenomena. For example, there are solutions that describe the existence of wormholes, which are hypothetical tunnels through spacetime that could allow for faster-than-light travel by joining two points in space billions of light-years apart much like teleportation. Another fascinating consequence of general relativity is the idea of time dilation. Time dilation refers to the fact that time appears to move slower in regions of spacetime with stronger gravity. This effect has been observed experimentally and is a crucial factor in modern GPS technology, where satellite clocks have to be adjusted to account for the time dilation caused by the Earth's gravity. General relativity is also closely related to the concept of dark matter. The theory predicts that the gravity of massive objects like galaxies should cause them to curve the path of light passing through them, creating a gravitational lensing effect. Observations of this effect have led astronomers to believe that there must be large amounts of matter in the universe that we cannot directly detect, that is dark matter. This idea of dark matter is still a mystery to scientists, but it's something that we continue to study and try to understand. Who knows what we'll discover in the future? Finally, it's worth noting that general relativity is not the complete picture of gravity. The theory is incompatible with quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of matter and energy on very small scales. As a result, physicists are currently working on developing a theory of quantum gravity that would unify the two theories and provide a more complete understanding of the universe. So, that's all for today's video on general relativity. I hope you enjoyed learning about this fascinating topic. Remember, science is an ever-evolving field, and there's always more to discover and understand. Thank you for watching.